Well, good evening from the Myrtle Beach Travel Park. This is John Kirk. And today's video is just kind of to walk around our campsite and things we've done to our camper, uh, some modifications, what we call mods, that enhance what we do as campers and RVers and make camping a little more like creature comforts at home. Um, we started this a long time ago, back in 2014 with a little pop-up. And uh, obviously progressed to an R-Pod, and then we came to this. So we decided we wanted to mod this thing out best we could. And we'll show those modifications now. Um, and several things uh, are always on Amazon. I'll tell you where to get these things if you need, if you need to uh, get those. Uh, we'll go from there. All right, first thing is the clam screen shelter. This is the smaller version. There's two, we have the small version and we have a bigger version. So this one's just basically for our storage area. It is waterproof 100%, um, has flaps that you can attach with Velcro and, and hooks that keep it waterproof on the sides if there's a storm coming through. We have weights that tie it down. We actually have, th these are fishing weights that my wife's dad had before he passed away. And we took those and we use those now for our, our weights to keep this, this clam down. We just take it obviously. Um, there's guide wires you can use to really get a good fit into the ground. And pool noodles are good as well because if you're walking and you're at night or morning, you don't see what you're doing, you get one of these pool noodles, hit, well, actually not, not pool noodle, but hit, hit one of the wires without looking at it, you can trip and fall, hurt yourself. So we put these on just Dollar General um, pool noodles just so you make sure you don't trip over the guide wires when you're um, walking around. It. I encourage you to get a mat um, as well. It keeps the ground obviously dry and your, your contents inside. Um, it's about a two minute setup and takedown. Fits in a bag and stays underneath our camper. So clam screen shelter, go, you can get that on Amazon. And uh, I highly recommend that as well, okay? So to the, to the table area, we have multiple um, tablecloths. This is one we got off Amazon. It is a cloth screen, uh, excuse me, it is a cloth, tablecloth. This is not edited, so just uh, screw up, my bad. Um, machine washable, put some water on it earlier today. It's just puddling up, but it's not really um, soaking in, which is good. The, we have the solar lanterns here as well, off Amazon. Um, charge during the day, obviously at nighttime, it flickers like a, like a, a fire. I recommend you guys get some nice uh, zero G gravity chairs. These here, if you climb back, I'm almost at a uh, 180. And they're comfortable to sleep in, relax in. Um, highly recommend them. I got, we got these from Cabela's uh, about five years ago, maybe, five, six years ago. So it works well. We, we use a lifetime catch all table here as well, with just a basic tablecloth on it. We, I cook out here, but just put things in here when we go in the back of the camper, so we use that as well. Um, have an additional cooler. This is a Yeti cooler, 35 gallon with some blinged out stickers from a good friend of ours uh, a year ago, and he brought us back from the Outer Banks with some colorful uh, sayings, okay? Use a lifetime table for that, we, and, that and this all goes underneath the camper as well, so um i'm gonna go here comfort zone highly recommend summertime when you're in the south camping you need some fans uh we, we use fans a lot because it's so hot down here in north and south carolina so the humidity is really bad but i got these from camping world about three years ago comfort zone highly effective what runs the show here is our six prong power adapter right here. Got this from Lowe's uh, three years ago, actually down here at Myrtle Beach. And it, obviously it can take up to multiple power sources to run without having to tap into your RV's power station from the box. Um, this yellow drop cord goes underneath the camper all the way to the power, po power post, plug into the the power that's not attached to the RV, so we don't have to use that type of uh, wattage, okay? So there's right there, and I'll walk you up there as well in just a little bit. Um, 
We have some great additions to our steps. We had the pull down steps that were really just jiggly and you step them on them and the whole camper would shake. These are called the Revolution Glow Steps. Um, they fold up like an accordion and they obviously fold down. They're super sturdy as well. Um, walk up and down on them. There's no play, there's no type of you know, give or camper rock solid too. It just folds up and uh, when you fold it up, literally it's time to go and it, it locks into place. So we like that addition from the, uh, the stock steps we had when we bought this thing in 2018. The next thing is a Warner uh, step ladder here. We use it just to put our, our shoes on, flip flops, just items. It's handy if we want to get up on the, toward the top of the awning to get anything off. So it looks cool as well. Um, got these mats off Amazon. I don't know the exact model, but there's like different color schemes. You get there's a gray and black. We got blue and black and silver and white. Matches the camper real well, so highly recommend the Z's. Staked in the ground, of course. Under here, in our storage area, there's not really a lot of storage in a camper like this. It's, this is a 26 foot camper, um, so storage is pretty premium. We have one pass through storage area back here. Goes from end to end, and I'll show what we've done. I put as much as I can on the walls with Velcro and command strips just to kind of get things off the wall. We did add this, this outlet right here back in March of 2022 here at the beach. I actually installed it here at the beach. It's just it, that charging my battery for my, my drill. Works real well. These right here, these are little baskets that I had installed as well in March of this year. Camco product. We put tools, stakes in there, um, screwdrivers, uh, Velcro, tie, tie down straps, whatever we, we have. So we just use those for there. More storage here. This right here is where we put our Fly pole buddy, fly pole, and our broom. I'll show you that in a little bit. More command stuff here, just more knickknacks. So, actually, right here is a foldable ladder we use occasionally when we have to get things off top of the roof. Okay, so let's go to the front of the camper right here. So, actually, yeah, we'll go to the front of the camper. Nothing too out of the ordinary here. We use a Camco tongue jack cover bag to uh, obviously protect us from the, the rain and elements so we won't, won't get messed up um, good friend of ours on the camping Facebook page made this for us um, we use a little solar light, and light to really make it bright at night time it works very well a little character to our camp site all right over here is the is the passive storage on the side too. I use these command hooks, bottle hooks to hold our my my lubricants in there, my slide lubricant, my um, conditioners, WD-40 in the back as well. We have another one of these tote containers that's has yeah, literally this has like knickknacks in it as we need here. Here we have a level. We have something for uh, the wrenches for the uh, sewer. Okay, kind of hard to see with the light. It's almost eight o'clock. Tool back here. Here's the back. Okay. Moving around to to here. We have a Camco camper sewer connector holder full of water sand that you keep your sewer um, connection down in, into the sewer and it'll pop out. Uh, start of the show here, here's the power sources we have here. We have power to the camper. This is power to the fans. I'll show you that in just a minute, the one at the very bottom. So. I, I use these Cord Pro XL cable cord organizers. You roll everything up and it keeps everything just neat and organized and, and uh, compact. Rhino Flex, uh, sewer, tote here, and, and the uh, 
I used the, the little steps that keep it off the ground. Of course, the, the zero G hoses are really popular. We really like those a lot. They don't bend, they don't flex, they don't kink. Super expendable too, okay? I'm just got a basic, just got a basic water pressure regulator. Um, I get the focus. Oh yeah, right there, sorry about that. Works, works real well. Take it over here, pull back a little bit. This is an alloy we had installed right here that feeds into our camper that gives us more more power to things we want to use inside, like the fans or a hair dryer or a, or a griddle. And it goes right to the power post without having to tap into our 30 amp wattage. Okay. Works pretty well. By the way, here we go. Yeah, there it is. Using the smart plug, we took out the, the standard one, the, the, the one with the knob that kind of it's hard to thread. So we used, we took care of that one and we used a smart plug. So we'll just plug and play. It snaps in, snaps into the connector, gives you a blue light, telling you that it's activated and it has power. Super strong as well. Highly recommend this as well. Uh, on the back of the camper, I've just got the upgraded um, magnetic bumper holders that hold the, our, our additional um, slinkies, slinky slinkies, okay. This is the flagpole buddy right here. goes up to the very top. It collapses down, different pieces. Very, very, very effective, okay? All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and go show my outdoor kitchen. This, this is pretty much gutted, changed, modified. Um, we have boogie lights that run up here and underneath the camper, actually inside of our outdoor kitchen. And then in there in the back, you can't see it now because it's still daylight. But everything's ran by this switch right there, right there. This is our Wi Fi extender, which is I do not recommend it at all. It doesn't help in campgrounds that has weak Wi Fi. So um, the, the Wi Fi is, is a Jeff Attack, which is right there, that little antenna. But uh, I wish I would never got it, it's, it doesn't work. But it sucks, so anyway. The fridge is just the standard fridge. I went to Harbor Freight and got a couple of these magnetic holders. This is the paper towel holder, and this is the bottle or the uh, can opener. Can, excuse me, can, spray can holder, but I made it into a squirt bottle holder. Um, magnets, of course, with Thermo, Thermo Pro temperature. Thermometer helps a lot with food. Blackstone E-Series 17 inch um, electric griddle. Ingenious. This is such a great cooking utensil. I, I, I recommend everybody that camps to get one of these. The propane thing's fine, but if you want the same experience without the cleanup, without the sticking, and without the seasoning, without all the use of the propane, I recommend the E Series, the 17 inch, and this, or the, the 22 inches is good as well, which um, you might get for the house later. We'll see what happens. You'll need to have special utensils from Blackstone that are silicone, you cannot use metal. Um, Utensils on it because you'll scrape the titanium uh, surface. It's it's like a hockey rink. It's real slick, uh, but it works right very good. Okay. DVD player. Uh, this is a, a hook that connects onto our 36 inch outdoor TV when we want to watch a movie outside. On swivel, really effective as well. And more command hooks in the back, which is gloves and everything like that. So we use. These suction cups hold our, our broom up. This hasn't came down yet, thank God. Um, so there you go for that. Uh, let me take back and show one more thing about our, our sewage mod we did. We just added an additional two sewage container holders in the front of the, of the area to hold our additional Stinky slinkies right here as well. These are Valterra. Work very well. You never know when, when one breaks or one one snaps or whatever. You have an additional one to use, okay? Uh, let's see what else. 
this is how I edit these guys. So just bear with me for a minute. I'm just looking around for a second. I think that's, I think it's, oh, one more thing. You know, we'll, we'll be done. Uh, insect screen protectors over your, your vents right here. I recommend these so you won't have wasp and hornets kind of making uh, a nest in there. When you try to use it, it, it messes up. So it keeps everything nice and clean, keeps all the bugs out. So I recommend you get those from, from Camco. Amazon sells it. Um, you know, camping world, whatever. Two more things I just remembered. RV lock, up updated door opener. Definitely recommend this as well. It has a remote control, or you can basically set the set the, uh, um, the passcode of your choice. It's a four-digit passcode. Very well, very very useful. It does have a key in case you need the battery dies in it. But I've had it for four years and same original batteries. This is the Slim Shade window. Uh, has a literally you cannot see inside but you can see outside fine has a shade that comes up and down at night for privacy keep it dark at night or obviously during the daytime you can lift it up and you can look out but you can't see and so i highly recommend the rv slim shade window okay all right that's a lot um let me sit down just for a second just kind of close this thing out i just want to thank you for taking your time to to um be with me this evening I've been doing a lot of research over the years from other RV uh, bloggers, YouTubers. And I got a lot of inspiration from those folks and I just wanna share what I've done to our camper and um, our changes and, and additions and uh, things I've taken away from other RVers that I've used for me and uh, for my wife, my two daughters. So hope you enjoyed the video. Uh, please like and subscribe. This is Cooking Camping Drummer, John Kirk. Have a great night, thanks.